Hi everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual I'm, uh, suffering from the effects of exposure to Mark Ellens, uh, a weaponized bio-organism that in my personal belief is capable of um, self-assembly and um, uh, nanotechnology, bi organic biological computing. Um, genetics have been uh, understood to the point where the computing system in the DNA is being utilized by military science. Also using uh, microwaves, scalar microwaves, or you know something of that nature to interact with uh, quantum dot technology or something that they put inside of us a transducer a tracker a something biological in nature and <clears throat> I'm being tortured and cooked and killed over time um, the progression I'm aging rapidly I have migraine headaches, I have ringing in the ears that increases to ringing in the head and the migraine headaches occur. I hear modulation in the signal. It is affected by my uh, blood pressure and movement of my head and stuff. It is pervasive 24-7, 365 days a year. It causes sleep deprivation, vomiting nausea, uh, confusion, loss of memory, inability to concentrate, to speak, to hear, to think. The headaches are so bad, you just, you know, you take all this pain medication and it does nothing. And you still want to bang your head against the wall, it hurts so much. You know, for like almost two weeks they've been banging me with this now. They just lit up a little while ago. And I, I, I'm dying from it because you cannot eat, you're throwing up everything, you can't drink, you're, you're throwing up in this screaming pain and it's, you know, it's designed to make you want to kill yourself. They said anybody would kill themselves after that. Horrible, horrible, horrible people. This is Easter weekend, uh, for those of you who believe in, uh, Christ and Christianity, Yeshua. I do. I believe that there is another life, uh, dimension, realm after this one, and that we are, uh, we have souls that live on after our bodies go. I believe that this reality we live in is a construct produced somehow by our Creator or whatever, whoever, in a higher dimensionality, and, uh, you know, I believe a lot of new things now that I didn't believe, but I believe in the sacrifice of, of Yeshua. Even just as a man, what they did to that poor man is horrific, and the things that he did for us that I don't even understand, thank you. When I was a child, I'd never really understood Easter, you know, it was candy and rabbits and church and yeah, I knew that, that Christ was crucified and buried and, and they came and he was gone, uh, but I didn't really understand it until this torture stole my hope and my future and my health and my soundness of mind and presence of self. Uh, this torture ripped out almost every foundational building block that they could remove. You know, like that game Jenga or whatever, you pull the little sticks out and you wait for this thing to see who can keep it from collapsing and then eventually it collapses. Well, they pull it out those little sticks so far we haven't fully collapsed but it's uh, you know money from sickness and death 
unfortunately, we are living in a society which I believe is ruled by evil people or people who are under the influence of evil, greed, and money, which we all know is a symbolic, cursed spell that we pass around to give value to human life and objects and it's a controlling device <laughs> you know and I think that there are people in this world who for whatever reason have decided to create a system where sickness and suffering and death are financially viable. They already are. They make trillions, billions and trillions off it. So why not make more? You know, if you read the, the quote-unquote Obamacare, I can't even remember what it's called, the, the something consumer, something, something protection, health and something, something, something act. If you start reading that thing, you realize that it's bureaucracy to the nth degree, putting finance charges and, and you know, regulations and, and fees and fee structures and quantities and qualifications and hierarchical structures of pre-existing conditions and age and all these things that they're trying to, you know, actuarial tables and one-tenth of the percent of the value of the, of the policy, and it, it just is mind-boggling. Uh, if you want to boggle your mind, I recommend you read that one. <laughs> Folks, our country is out of control. Um, people are being tortured and murdered in the land of the free and the home of the brave, which never really has been or will be. And uh, it's up to us as human beings to come together in a global society that is interested in humanity and consciousness and life rather than a society that is based on fear, death, control. I mean, you know, that's the ultimate reptilian brain thing. Got to control everything. Got to control everyone. Got to know where everything is. Got to make sure everything is under control at all times because they might get me. That's some kind of strange genetic you know reptilian hind brain kind of thinking and the opposite of that is i can reach out my hand and greet and and welcome and and interact with and commune with and fellowship with other human beings no matter who they are or what they believe because i love them all now Unfortunately, our world is set up so that people have been trained their whole life for conflict and hatred and discrimination and anger and frustration and all those petty things. But if we trained everyone the same way, with love and compassion and, you know, care for life and each other, rather than a world where the economy gets squeezed, and the fear level gets tweaked, and the rules get, you know, tighter, and freedoms get repressed, and the news tells you lies, and you run around on a treadmill never getting anywhere hoping you can keep a roof over your head. You're too busy and too afraid to help anyone else. I, I don't need to continue. It's not a place that anyone should want to build or be in, you know. They don't need to be so afraid that they're going to lose everything because there's a better way, folks. There's a better way. There really is. Thank you for watching. I know I'm talking, babbling, but God bless y'all.